Dear Toastmasters, I am Alicia Che, Distinguished Toastmaster. I'm a member of Passion ESG Integration Toastmasters Club and One World Toastmasters Club. I want to help you do your pathways projects. Before I begin, I would like to suggest that you think about these two key questions. Number one, are you here to do a project, a speech project, or to learn public speaking skills? I suggest you think about these two questions because the outcomes will be different. When your mind is focusing on doing a project, you would likely ignore or not paying enough attention on meeting the objective. If you are here to learn public speaking skills, you will certainly want to make sure you meet the objective of every speech project because it is by meeting every speech objectives you learn the skills. In every speech, we learn one key skill and accumulatively you will learn all the skills and be a good public speaker. Otherwise, you will be just running through one by one, one speech by one speech, and not truly learning the skills. How do you know? You can check it out. At the end of every speech, or every three, six months, one year, you do a review. Be honest to yourself. Ask yourself if you have improved, if you have made good progress. Otherwise, why? You will realize that because you did not pay attention to these two questions, Develop a communication plan is a project in level three. Level three is about increasing knowledge. It is for us to learn, to add value, to gain more knowledge, at the same time to gain skill. That means your purpose for your speech is to pick up this skill, increase your knowledge. Your ultimate message should be what kind of knowledge that you have picked up and how to apply it. What is it good for moving forward? How can this add value to you for your personal life or for your professional life, even for Toastmasters' life. A message is also very important, how you urge the audience to also learn it. To begin with, we need to ask two questions. First question is, what is the purpose? What is the objective? It says that the purpose is to practice developing a communication plan. You might wonder, why do we need to have a communication plan? Let's read the overview. The overview is the elaboration. You can get more information there. In this project, develop a communication plan can be any event in any situation. It can be a real situation or a hypothetical situation. Nonetheless, see this, it must be addressing a need. You must have a need for communication. The speech is five to seven minutes, but pay attention on the blue highlight. Not every project needs to sign off a completion form, but particularly for this project, you do need to sign off a completion form and give it to Vice President of Education. Now that we know, we need to develop a communication plan, and this plan can be in any situation, any event. It can be a real situation or a hypothetical situation. The key point here is a need. You must address a need. It is for five to seven minutes. And also, you must submit a completion form to Vice President of Education. Now, the second what is, what is it for me to learn? At the end of the project, what are the competencies I need to gain? You can see that first, we must learn how to formulate a central message. That is a need that you need to communicate to the person. You are addressing a need. That is why you must focus and centralize that needs to in order to make your message clear. Identify the message for your audience is very important. To be effective, you must understand your audience. For example, your audience might be more towards emotional or your audience might be more professional. They are more logical thinking and you know your audience, if they are emotional, you really need to be careful in your words, the choices of words. Also in your tone, you must have a comfortable tone of voice to talk to these people if they are towards emotional. But if they are professional, you can talk more logical. You focus on what makes sense. 
make them see your point from the logical thinking. You make them see your point from the logical sense. Define the steps of your communication plan. Well, this is a project for you to learn a skill. The skill is to develop your communication plan. When that is a skill, there must be steps to follow. You can see to develop a plan. First, we must have a goal. A goal is the needs, the purpose that you need to communicate. You must study your audience, understand your audience, who they are. Once you know your audience well, design the message. What is the message that they can take, they will receive, they can pay attention, and it is important to them. You also want to design the tone of voice, as I explained, and timing. Timing to talk about is very important. For example, if you know someone is going through some kind of difficult situation, they don't have the mind to listen and to focus. Don't choose the time. Check with them when is the right time for them. Get their mind settled and focused. Last but not least, identify your form of communication. Do you want to talk to them in person? Do you feel is it more effective to talk to them in person? If so, you want to set up meeting and talk to them face to face. Or do you think it is better to do it online due to distances? If you cannot have it in person, I guess the second best choice is online. Online, like Zoom, we still can see each other. When you deliver the speech, it is very important to explain why, or the why, how, what is it. Other methods could be social medias, marketing, or you just want to project a message loud and clear. Choose the form of your communication. I use communication planning a lot in my coaching. I listen first. It's always good to begin with listening. I also plan the tone of my voice and the timing. All these are very important planning. I hope it helps. Remember, don't memorize your speech. Write it in a point form and then practice it. Rehearse it. When you are eating, you can rehearse it in your mind. When you're showering, only five to seven minutes. Yes, this is five to seven minutes. Practice it within five to seven minutes. As you know, if you don't practice enough, you will very likely to exit five to seven minutes and immediately people know that you did not practice enough or you might speak less than five minutes. Then you will not be qualified. Remember, the biggest secret of public speaking is to practice, 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 make perfect. All the best to you. If you have time, I encourage you to read through the entire manual. There are a lot more things to read. This video is to prepare you when you don't have time to read. Or if you have read it, you don't really get the point and understand. Then you can watch this video. It gives you a very direct guidance. Most importantly is enjoy your speech. Speak from your heart.